Hi Aries and welcome to your mid-month reading. Um, I hope all has been, I, I hope all has been well for you guys. Definitely let me know in the comment section below what's been happening in your lives, anything that you care to share anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get right into what came up for you because a lot of potent energies are here. Um, and as a gentle reminder, this is for anybody that has their sun, moon, rising, midheaven, and or the Venus in the sign of Aries. Um, however, if out of curiosity you just clicked on this video or you're cross-watching, you're also welcome to watch, okay? What came out as signifying energy at this time is the death card. As some of you might notice, I'm also using a new deck. It's called the Fountain Tarot deck. Beautiful illustrations. What is crossing you at this time, though, coming into the mid-month, you have the Three of Wands. What is real about the situation you're going through? What came up was the Star card. What is wrong about the situation or energies that you might be feeling? What came up was the Temperance where you need more information queen of swords and then finally by the end of the month what you can do or where you at, where you will at least find yourself energetically what came up was the ace of wands as i was shuffling the strength card wanted to be shown as well as the high priestess so you guys might be dealing with a leo and or a pisces you might have these placements within yourself that need um, further inspection or like tweaking at this time right but again as power players and also at the bottom of the deck the strength card did come up again so a lot of courage a lot of bravery is going to be called for at this time like when these cards first popped out the first word that came to mind especially with this death card was transcendence you know finally getting to a place or a point where you can um, fully let go of the things of the past right you and really start calling in new energy right more powerful energy it's like coming from a dark space into something like something was shown to you or some news has been brought to you right that puts you in this position it's like you've been fighting and i i got that sense too when i did your overall monthly readings like aries has this thing where all your life you feel like because you have such margin energy that like internal conflict or just wanting to fight but it's like almost like a rebel without a cause type of energy um always feeling like you have to defend yourself against other people always feeling like you have to prove yourself here i feel like you're taking a change or something's going to change by way of what you hear or by way of what you see coming into the mid-month um, just the things that you're trying to invite into your life at this time if you've been doing uh, moon manifestations or if you've just been heavily praying you know really being in connection with spirit uh, because wands energy is also known to be like spiritual realizations that you can have right so I'm definitely getting that. You guys are leaving a lot of things in the past, namely the way in which you use that fighting energy within you, right? Any turmoil, you're learning how to turn it and work it, alchemize it into something that can be more rewarding for you. You know you're turning pain into power. You're turning pain and you're alchemizing it and integrating it into like your purpose and that's amazing right what's real about the situation is anything that um has come up during the venus and retrograde season right for the past 30 to 40 days with venus and retrograde it's allowing for you to finally be at ease and be at peace and to really heal those things that you've considered for a while now um, that you might not have ever seen yourself being able to get over. I'm not sure how I was trying to word that. But if you guys have been going through something, right, 
that has like killed you on the inside that has put you in just a dark space and it's something that at one point you might have considered unforgivable right because the three of wands can also be an energy about like somebody apologizing um and sincerity behind the apology and wanting to move on and be just in a better position you know more cooperative energy it's like something that at one point you might have felt was unforgivable you are like completely okay at this point or you will be energetically you will feel that that energy is coming in for you this month um some of you guys have wished upon a star and have been able to see glimpses here with this three of wands of like the potential of the promise that was wished upon you know you've been able to essentially get a yes from the universe I feel like that just sounds so weird. Hopefully you guys like know where I'm coming from or what I'm trying to say. But yeah, somebody has definitely wished upon a star and it has come true for you guys. But now in this moment, what you need to do now that you've seen this glimpse of this promise, you know, you're starting to see these things unfold. You're starting to see some of your dreams realize instead of... Um, what is that called? I've used the word before. Instead of destabilizing these good things that are coming in, you know, wanting to stay here as if you're undeserving of what's coming in, like not wanting to do that full transformation, that full surrendering of the ego, you know, and allowing this, this momentum to take place, you know, for the things to start to speed up in your life. What you need to do, though, with the temperance card is just have patience, you know? Some of you Arians are truly magicians, like true witches, okay? And I feel like you guys uh, often neglect how marvelous and how powerful you guys are as beings, you know? He seems to be in awe of what it is that he's holding. There's almost like a sense of disbelief in this card. That's what I'm getting a sense of, right? You can't believe it's finally coming together. But now is not the time to, again, scare yourself and destabilize what is going right, like what is going well in this moment, like in the present moment whenever you watch this video. And then start, you know, trying to uh, cope by way of drinking more or going back into other bad habits, you know, that have kept you in such a dark space with the death card. Namely, like, drugs or just maladaptive codependent behaviors. That is what can go wrong in this situation. You scare yourself so much, you kind of want to pacify and numb yourself to the things that are growing in your life, to the things that are trying to come into your life at this time, okay? Where you need more information, we have the queen of swords this is somebody that has seen it all and has done it all this is not somebody that can be easily fooled so now that you know better it's time that you do better really that's the full message with this that i'm getting okay um use your discernment but you also especially if this is maybe pertaining to a relationship which what can be wrong is you're at odds with um a sagittarius here with this temperance card or maybe you just don't fully understand them if not a Sagittarius, somebody that is an Aquarius that's trying to come back and ask for forgiveness. I want to say that you definitely need to hear them out. That's where you need to get more information. Let them fully explain what happened, like what caused you guys to be on the break that you're in or to break up completely or to just have as many disagreements that you might be having at this uh, present moment, you know? The Queen of Swords can be the, the type of woman who has been hurt so much that she will put up a defense, like it's a defense mechanism to be cold and detached and aloof, you know? There is no other way to be. Also, by setting such high expectations and boundaries, it's like you can't come close until you meet them, but sometimes they're unrealistic expectations, you know? You have to be rational you have to be logical sometimes you have to be okay with meeting people where they are but don't get cold and defensive and like start building up a wall when you see that somebody is trying to come in and bring warmth into your life you know again because you've been 
in the trenches for a while now for some of you guys trying to do the or be in that state of transcendence trying to um achieve that enlightenment that you're so looking for that you were so looking for or doing the soul searching to really figure out what your purpose is because that that can also be what this card is talking about you know i'm also hearing though read in between the lines so maybe some of these people that are trying to come back at this point in time, especially with Mercury about to go retrograde, there's going to be a lot of confusion, okay? Don't make any permanent um, decisions unless it's something that you already started working on. Like say, again, if this is a relationship, you guys have been together for like six months and then you broke up and they come back around, it's okay to start over in that relationship. But if somebody new is trying to make an appearance, namely an Aquarius, Scorpio, or a Sagittarius, just be very watchful of what it is that they say and um, what it is that they do, you know? Some of them might be doing a lot more talking than acting and that's something to take note of you know again use discernment use wisdom you've had enough experiences and you've been through enough on an emotional level to really understand when people only want you when it's convenient or if people really want you because they fully desire to know you in and out you know somebody that's not going to want to make you feel like this um, don't go looking for love though if you know that you are in this position that's something that you have to fully heal first and that might come from a maternal figure that acted cold to you growing up so you never had that like mother's love that woman's touch or it can be from a paternal figure that sets such high expectations that you grew up um, trying to kind of follow in the footsteps in that way as far as having high expectations and nobody really being able to meet them again so that can be something that you need more information on but by the end of the month you will definitely uh, be feeling more hopeful physical vitality will be improved um ace is all about ones which is the first house and talks about the i the ego so um you guys are really in your element as far as being fire signs and um, really ringing true and doing things that really speak to your true self right your natural self your personality uh, having just really inspired ideas that you're wanting to act on at this time and then maybe trying to figure out who it is that you want to take along in this next chapter of your life you know we're getting ready to close out 2018 and going into 2019 so uh, just be very reflective over the year right the past what is this 10 5 17 17 months 17 years from the age of 17 from the last 17 days 17 hours just i don't know what that might be about but you know just being very reflective of like all the things and the experiences that have brought you here and what it is that you're wanting to learn next again with Jupiter and Sagittarius it's gonna call for a period of deep or great expansion in the things that you so care about so if this is more about career or again self-image that's something that you are going to really be focusing on improving from now on through into the next year right again hope is restored if you've gotten news of something and it's now time for you to be able to start putting all of the pieces together like never before this is just like a whole new attitude a whole new outlook on life especially with this strength card here um greater periods of enlightenment or deeper wisdom and knowledge if you're wanting to go and uh, continue higher education there's energy for that you have more focus and determination to do it to see it through you know um so that's what i'm getting for you guys now as far as your chakras are concerned not seeing a lot of green so just work on the heart chakra again with this queen of swords energy that's here um and your third eye crown chakra make sure that's in alignment okay if this resonated for you give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more